Hi, I'm Ben. Welcome to my book corner. Today we're taking a look at our first non-fiction book on the channel. I am not as well as I thought I was by Ruby Wax. This was released on May 11th, 2023 in the UK. With this being a non-fiction book, obviously the format's going to be slightly different today. We're going to start by looking at a little bit about Ruby Wax herself and her background. I'm then going to move on to basically what the book is about, finishing off on the actual structural style of the writing here before my final thoughts at the end. So let's just jump straight into this one. So a little bit about Ruby herself. She was born in 1953 in America and holds dual citizenship for both the US and the UK. She has worked over the years as an actress, a comedian, a writer. She's been on TV doing documentaries and in more recent times an author and mental health campaigner. I remember Ruby from the 90s in particular where she had a show called The Full Wax on the BBC and then a series of documentaries where she met various famous celebrities such as Madonna, O.J. Simpson, Pamela Anderson, so on and so forth. But it's her work as an author and as a mental health campaigner that are most important to today's video. One thing she has been very open about over the years is her personal struggles with both bipolar disorder and depression. And she's done online series for the BBC and has worked with plenty of mental health charities over the years including founding a mental health website which is now part of the Sane Mental Health Charity and I'll leave a link to their website in the description below. This is actually her seventh book and it's the first one I have personally read. The first book she released was called How Do You Want Me back in 2002, was followed by Sane New Worlds in 2013, A Mindfulness Guide for the Frazzled, How to Be Human the Manual, and now for the good news, the much needed tonic for our frazzled world and mindfulness guide for survival in 2021. In 2015, she was appointed visiting professor in mental health nursing at the University of Surrey. And also in 2015, it was announced that she would be made an OBE for her services to mental health. And as I previously said, mental health is very much the focus of this book today. So let's just jump straight into the book now. So this is a memoir of Ruby's mental health journey over the course of around a six month period. The book is split into seven main sections and also has an afterword and an appendix at the back as well. The first section covers her being in the clinic on the 11th of May, where she's receiving treatment called repetitive transcranial magnetic stimulation. And this first section covers from the 11th of May to the 15th, and is made up of a series of various different things. Ruby's own thoughts about what's going on and what's going through her head, as well as what I would assume is paraphrased interactions with her psychiatrist or psychologist. After that, it actually jumps back in time to the 1st of February in the next section and a visit to Spirit Rock, which is a 28-day mindfulness silent retreat in America. And it covers her various thoughts and interactions from her time there before at the end of the chapter again bouncing back to the clinic and covering another couple of days before moving on to the next section, which is her swimming with humpback whales. Similar sort of thing happens here. It's very much her interactions and what's gone on while she's been there before jumping back to the clinic again. Then it touches on her time working in some refugee camps around, I think it was Greece if memory serves, before again bouncing back to more recent times in the clinic. Then some thoughts on television and some television work that she got when she got back. And then finally, her trying to find some meaning with religion before, at the end of the day, checking herself into the psychiatric institution and it actually ends with the return to the clinic section as it finishes off the sort of diary of her time with the clinic. And the interesting thing about this book is that this is less about the actual destination that she ends up at but more about how she ended up there and in many ways how she was avoiding 
the inevitable of ending up there in some ways. So what I would say about this is that this is very much not a self-help book, but rather this is someone sharing their personal experience in the hopes that some people will recognise some of the things here and it might help them, but in no way is this here to give you advice on what you should do. Mental health is a really complicated thing and depression can mean so many different things to so many different people in so many different ways and this doesn't try to preach or advise but this is an insight into what Ruby went through what she was doing in the run-up to it to kind of stay ahead of the depression or avoid it in many regards and give himself a sense of worth in many regards as well before actually touching on why she was acting in certain ways and how that was contributing to a burnout and ultimately where she ends up at the end of the book, where she's feeling better and more at home in her own head. There are some really touching moments in here. You actually feel a sense of raw connection with some people at the same time of the fact that she was in many regards disconnected with herself in some ways. You get the sense of wonder at the various different retreats and the swimming with the whales as well and that's counterpointed with the horror of the concentration camps and the stories of some of the people there that she met as well as some of the stuff that she's personally went through especially when she was younger and at home and due to all that this feels like a very genuine earnest and at times very raw book to read as well but despite all the dark moments in here there's also moments of humor as you would expect knowing her history and that really does help sort of counterpoint the book from its darker moments as well. So for me, this is actually a recommend. And I'm actually going back to the star rating for this one. And this is a four star title for me. I don't think this is going to be a book for everyone by any stretch of the imagination. But if you have an interest in what feels like an authentic journey on someone's mental health over a period of time, I think this is a really good book to read. There's some interesting stuff in here as well. Also, if you're a fan of Ruby, then I think this would be a must read. And this is the first non-fiction book I've read in a long time, and I'm actually really glad that I did. But my question is, have any of you read any of Ruby's other titles? If you have, let me know what you thought of them in the comments below. Again, I am also going to include the Saint website below as well, so you can check that out. I hope you're all well, and I'll catch you all next time.